Hi, Jasco here. Today we're going to take some of those chords we've been learning and we're going to apply them to the song Let It Be. Because playing songs is a lot more fun than just practicing chords. For Let It Be, there's two main parts to the song. One part we're going to call the verse, and in its simplest form it's going to be C for two beats, G for two beats, A minor, F, then C, G, F, C. So that would be the easiest way to play that song, just two down strums, two beats on each chord. The choruses are going to be this progression, A minor, still two beats on each chord, G, F, C, then C, G, F, and C. You might notice the second half of the chorus is exactly the same as the second half of the verse. C, G, F, and C. To make this a little bit more interesting, what we're going to do is go back to the lesson um, a few videos ago that I called faking the piano part. And we're going to do a finger picking pattern that kind of imitates what a piano might do on a song like this. So you can go back and review that lesson. I'm going to put the link in the comments below. I'll also talk a little bit about it here. The picking pattern we're going to do is thumb on the bass note of the chord. At the same time, we're going to do middle and index finger on the B and high E string. That way we're getting three notes out of the chord, and then we're going to play our index finger on the G string. So that's the picking pattern we're going to apply to each chord. Our three fingers are going to stay on the same three strings the whole time. These two on the B string and high E string and index finger always on the G. Our thumb is going to change depending which chord we're playing. It's going to play the bass note of the chord. So on a C chord, our thumb's playing the A string. On an A minor chord, our thumb's playing the A string. On G, our thumb will play the low E string. And the only other chord in the song is an F, our thumb will play the D string on that F. That would sound like this for the verse. And for the chorus, thing to both the verse and the chorus. The ending two chords were F and C. What we're going to do is we're going to stop doing the picking pattern at that point and we're going to play F as a whole chord so I'm playing thumb, index, middle, ring, finger on the D, G, B, and high E strings. I'm just plucking the whole chord together. Then I'm going to lift the chord up and play a bass note, E, on the second fret of the D string, then another bass note, D, open D string, and then I'm going to play C. And for C I could play it and hold it as a half note, so that's two beats. And then I start the next verse or the next chorus over again. So let me play through a verse and a chorus just like that.
And that is pretty much the whole song for Let It Be. There's a bridge and then there's a little bit of a guitar solo in there. But chord wise, you can play and sing the whole song with that right there. I'll put the tab for this song on my website and the link is below. So go there and check that out. And remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.